Would you pay $20 for hot chocolate in Paris? Let's compare two famous cafes and see if it's worth it. First up is Angelina. I waited 30 minutes in line and the tea room is beautiful. Their $15 hot chocolate is super thick. Whoop. There's a bit of film there. It's so satisfying mixing in the cream. It tastes very rich, sweet, and slightly bitter. I found it nice, but a little heavy for my taste and the $5 croissant was quite average. Overall, I'd rate it a 7.8 out of 10. Not really worth it for me, but if you're into indulgent drinks, you may love this. Okay, next up is correct. I went at 9 a.m. So there's no line this time. Now their hot chocolate is a whopping 20 Australian dollars, which is 12 euros, but the portion is pretty good. It can easily be shared between two people. So the consistency isn't as thick as Angelina's and mixing in the whipped cream gave it such a lovely fluffiness. It tastes sweet and creamy and I really enjoyed it. The $6 croissant was buttery and flaky and was so good dipped into the hot chocolate. Overall, I'd rate it a 9 out of 10. I loved the experience and it was worth it for me.